Welcome to the official Chainsaw Man ending theme song tier list slash ranking. There were 12 endings. I don't think any anime has ever done something like that. But there were 12 endings for this beautiful masterpiece that we call Chainsaw Man. And we're going to rank each ending. Here's the list. We got God tier. We got amazing. We got good. We got meh, whatever. And we got hated us so much, cancel me. First up. We got Vondi's Chainsaw Blood. Now, if you think this will go anywhere below God's here, I need you to get out of here. I'm sorry, but Vondi's Chainsaw Blood is nothing less than God's here. So, of course, it's going into God's here tier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Any other answer is wrong. But, Nick, it's an opinion. No, it's a fact. This ain't no opinion. Shut up. Not only did I love this song... But it connected me to Vondi's music, and it's amazing how versatile this guy is. You hear most of his music, it doesn't even compare to Chainsaw Blood. It just shows you how much, how great of an artist he is. So yeah, definitely God tier. No questions asked. You put it any lower than this, I hope something bad happens to you in 2023. <laughs> yeah, 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 come on! That was the saving grace of the song. I don't care what anybody says, if that song was missing that... <laughs> If it was missing that, it would go and met whatever. But that was a saving grace. It wasn't amazing. I don't know. Like, the animation was good. But the song itself, I never really returned to it. And I am basing this off of what I like the most. This is an opinion, except for the Vondi song. That was just a fact. Okay? But my opinion on this song is, it's good. It's definitely good. Where is it? Where did I put it? So I'll put this one in the good. In the good. I think it's good. It's a good song. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but Nick, everything's amazing. This is anime. No, it's good. That's about it. But Nick, you're a reaction channel. What do you know about talent? Then you do it, okay? You do what I'm doing. Fake your reactions and tell me that's not talent. Before I say anything else, this, I feel like, is the most creative when it comes to the animation and song, according to all of these themes, it's God tier, Maximum the Horny, incredible, unique, and y'all know how much I love incredible and unique. It's as anime as it gets. The transition from that hard call, devil in the name of devil, bum, 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 to Ooh, na, 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 na. like I don't know how they did it, but God tier, I put you first. Can I change placements, motherfucker? Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> This one, I'm not gonna lie, it's not my, my cup of tea. The song didn't do much for me. I appreciate the voice, I appreciate what they were going for, but it just wasn't there for me. I guess I was very, very impressed with the first three, especially Chainsaw Blood and the Maximum, the Hormone. Yeah, it was meh, whatever. So it's going to man, whatever. Yeah. So this one is by See You Do. See You Do in the back room. I love a unique voice. And when I could pick you apart from a million singers on this earth that sound exactly the same nowadays, that's already a plus in my book. So this one, catchy, has me bobbing my head. I could listen to it no matter what mood I'm in. The instrumentation is beautiful, the voice is beautiful, the melody is sick. I really appreciated this one. It was zany. It was crazy. It fit Chainsaw Man. And I'm not saying the others didn't. Of course, most of them did. So I'm definitely putting this one in the amazing tier. I thought it was amazing. I still listen to it. The replayability is insane. And yeah, if you don't like it, casually turn a chainsaw on and walk into it. <laughs> That's the name of the song. Now that I'm hearing it again, just just get your fine ass in that amazing tier. I don't care what anybody says. Nick, you're being too nice. Wait till you see I get to the rest. <laughs> Not only was this one, I think my favorite animation wise, but it's one of my favorites when it comes to a song. It's so memorable. Like, I'm always gonna remember it. You hear that do 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 You hear that, that sh those strings? It, it just brings you back to the episode. It just brings you back to this animation. It just makes you feel good. This is definitely God tier, without a doubt. So ending number seven definitely goes into God tier. <laughs> do I even have to say it?
first of all, it's TK. Before the song even came out, and it was just announced that he's doing a song, it was going in God's ear. Because everything TK touches turns into diamonds. Not gold. Diamonds. Literal masterpieces. One of my favorite singers, probably my favorite Japanese singer other than Kenshi, that does the opening for this. I love their voices, but TK, when he does the... It belongs in a tear itself. That alone belongs in its own tier. I don't care when anybody says, but Nick, you're just biased because of TK and Unravel. Yeah, well, Unravel is Jesus tier. But Nick, it's overrated. No, your, your mom's overrated, okay? Oh, Moses' Ark. I forgot about this one. Moses, Noah's Ark. Moses probably had one too. You cannot put this in anything other than God tier. You simply can't. Can't. You go from TK to Aimer. The emotional switch right there. The first one was called the First Death by TK. And that's when we got the deaths. And then the next episode was emotional. You're dealing with the baggage of the emotion of loss and grief. It capitalizes on that so well. Amor, her voice is something from the heavens. Beyond the heavens. God himself is frightened by Amor's talent and her wisdom and her beauty. So you know where the deep down's going. It's going not, it ain't going deep down. It's going deep up. You gotta live. I wouldn't put it in amazing because though I do respect how different it is, especially in the animation, it gives me a gorilla's vibe. Not not the animal, the band. I wouldn't say it's meh, whatever, because it's unique enough to get me moving and to remember it. And if it's memorable, you already are in a good position. If you remember something, you cannot say it's bad because it's done its job, you know what I mean? And the thought of this song, the second I hear this... That, the second I hear that, I know what I'm listening to. So I'm going to put in the good. Definitely the good. Y'all already know where I'm putting this one. It's going and hated it so much. Cancel me. I didn't hate it, okay? It was just a joke. But cancel me because I didn't like this one at all. I didn't like the vibe. It was way too upbeat for me and too poppy. It was way too lollipop-y. All of these endings fit the vibe of an episode. And yeah... Chainsaw Man could be upbeat, but this is a little too upbeat, like too K-pop-ish. And I don't think this is K-pop. I don't know if it's J-pop or C-pop. I don't know what it is, but pop my head off because I didn't like it. And then we get to the last ending. And I know y'all are wondering, where am I going to put this one? That, that, that dip. Na, 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 na. That put it in God tier immediately immediately bro what an amazing way to end chainsaw man the way the title credits were falling down as a scene scenes were playing aesthetic chainsaw man scenes of them doing their day-to-day -day things their lifestyle it was such a beautiful bittersweet ending I got horny from this song because of how good it was, and that, that's why the video was delayed a bit, because I had to take care of that. So this is my tier list. My. Mine. Okay? Nick, why'd you put it in the last place ending number 11? Because that's how I felt about it. That's why. I'm not even gonna lie. I listened to all of these again. Even in the meh whatever, ending number 3, I listened to that again. But this one, number 11, no. No, I ain't going back to that one. Nick, give it a chance. No. Would you give Bin Laden a second chance? I guess I'm comparing this group to, to, to Bin Laden, but whatever. It's amazing how you have six God-tier songs. What other thing does that? Not even just anime. And the amazing and good-tier songs are really good, too. Chainsaw Man did the unthinkable. So much talent put into this. So much time. The animation for every single ending was unique in their own way. I think that's what I appreciated the most. It was like a different animation for each thing. Especially that one that looked like a 90s video game. And even in this one, ending number 11, even though I didn't like the song, the animation was really good and really different. All right. We're going to start with what I didn't like at all and what I would personally put in 12th place with all disrespect obviously because y'all think i have some kind of grudge against this group i don't even know if it's a group 
I don't even know if it's a person. I don't know what it is. I just didn't like the song. So guess what? I am putting ending number 11 in 12th place. The one by Tubo, I wasn't too crazy about it, but I would still listen to it. It's insane. Something that low for me, I would still listen to. And it just shows you the quality of this anime. I'd put that in 11th place. 10th place is between ending number 10 and ending number 2. We got the Zuda Mayo song, Time Left. And then we have... People won Dogland. If I had to put them together, I would definitely remember Dogland more than Zuda Mayo song. So I'm going to put Zuda Mayo in 10th place. And then in 9th place, I'm going to put the Dogland song. So 8th place is between two people. Two endings. We got the Sioto in the back room. In my asshole. And then we got Canarias Rendezvous. I don't love these, but I really like these two. So in 8th place, I'm actually going to put Sioto's in the back room. And then in seventh place, we're going to put Canaria's Rendezvous. I'm still humming Rendezvous in my head right now. So it's that low, but it's that high in my brain. I love it. Now, this is the hard part. We got six left, and these are all in my god tier. So I don't know. Uh, this is hard. Out of these six, which one would I put in sixth place? I'd put Anal in sixth place. So I love this song. It's in god tier. But out of all six of those God tier songs, this is my the one I least love. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. In fifth place, and this might shock a lot of people, I'm going to put Eve. I'm going to put Eve, ending number 12, fight song. Because these next four, these other four on this list, I don't know how I'm going to rank them. They're going to have the most replay value to me ever. I'm still listening to TK First Death. I'm still listening to Maximum the Horny. I'm still listening to Vondi and Aimer. You know how hard this is going to be? And I'm still listening to Eve's fight song, but I just started listening to it. But I feel like this one is definitely going to be my least loved out of the top five. But I'm still in love with it. This was hard. This was really hard. And this might make a lot of people flip out. But I'm going to put Vondi's Chainsaw Blood in number four. In the fourth place. I'm comparing it to the other ones. It was hard. This was the hardest placement. These top four are ridiculously hard. I feel like the top four is the hardest. Once we narrow it down to top three, it's easier, if that makes any sense. You know, man? God. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe this. I'm going to do it. Maxim and the Hormone is in third place. If I need a gym song, I'm putting that ahead of TK's first death. I'd put that in second place. And I love my gym songs. My Tatakai playlist. That is... Like, the, 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 far, the one of the forefathers of that playlist. I can't believe I put that in third place. But in second place, I'm putting Deep Down by Aimer. I think it's the only emotional type vibe song on this list. But it connected with me. It hit me so hard. I almost cried. Her voice is something of the heavens. And then y'all know, TK gets first place. You don't understand how much I love that song. <laughs> That alone. He doesn't even say a word there. And I instantly, immediately connected with it. TK is a god. You need him for more openings. Everything he touches is out of this world. He's out of this world. And that's why he's getting the first placement. But yeah, this is the rank list, guys. What do you think? What would you rank them? Am I ridiculous? Y'all's list might be completely backwards. I would love to see that. Like, imagine somebody's favorite ending is ending number 11. And that's the beauty of music. We all have different tastes. But, um, your taste just sucks. But this is my taste. This is my list. It's my opinion. Except for the god tier list. Because those are god tier. Whether you think so or not, they're god tier. If you think they're not, your opinion just doesn't matter. It's wrong. I'm sorry. Oh my god, we're at the end of the video, which means... This might be the last Chainsaw Man video in a long time. Unless I do my favorite moments of Chainsaw Man, which I'm debating on doing or not. But this could possibly be the last Chainsaw Man video until we get news for Season 2 or Core 2 or whatever. And that just makes me emotional. But guys, whether you love the songs or you hate some of them, can we just give it up to Chainsaw Man? For giving us 12 different songs that all sound different and have different type of animation for each single ending. Who else does that? What else does that? I don't know. I can't think of it. A lot of people that have watched 400 plus animes even said that they could even think of someone that did that. Chainsaw Man is like the first to do that. And even if they did did it, was it this high in quality when it came to the animation and the music? I don't know. But Chainsaw Man definitely did the unthinkable. And I'm going to put all these songs on a playlist and listen to these at the gym except for number 11. But yeah, 
you guys gotta let me know down below your ranking what your tier list is i love discussion so discuss down below your ranking it doesn't have to be all 12 put your top three or whatever and talk amongst yourselves i love you guys so much chainsaw man changed my life i'm not gonna lie i bought a chainsaw pochita pochita i call him pochita some other people call him pochita i'm not calling him that i'm calling him pochita he's mine okay get over it i'm never gonna forget chainsaw man it got better and better it won my heart and it could possibly be my favorite anime right now and it's hard saying that but attack on titan because of how much i love attack on titan but chainsaw man it's hard to compare those two it just did the unthinkable to me and i fell in love with it so yeah guys i'm gonna go cry now because this is the end so just wake me up just kill me now freeze my body and wake me up when season two is announced please i, I just have no reason to exist now